What's up everyone, my name is Janos, creator of Pinoy Tech Dad. I just got the Redmi K30 Pro and I'll be showing you a quick glimpse of what's inside of its box and my quick initial impressions after using it for 24 hours. The Redmi K30 Pro variant that I have with me is the base model with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. So opening up the box, you get another smaller box which contains the SIM injector pin and a free matte black plastic case. This reminds me of the free case that came with the Redmi K20 Pro last year which means that the markings on the back will most certainly fade away. Underneath the phone, we'll find a USB Type-C charging cable and the 33 watt fast charging brick. And that's pretty much it. Now, let's check out the actual phone. At the bottom, you'll find one speaker grill, a USB charging port, and the dual SIM card slots. Unfortunately, there's no memory card slot, so you're stuck with whatever built-in storage you have. At the top, you'll find the headphone jack, the 20 megapixel pop-up camera, and the infrared blaster. On the right side, you'll find the highlighted red power button and the volume rockers. The left side doesn't have any buttons, but all around the Redmi K30 Pro, you'll find some antennas as phones with metal bodies usually have signal issues. Lastly, at the back, we have a quad camera setup in a circular orientation. You get a 64 megapixel main wide angle lens, a 5 megapixel telephoto macro lens, and a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens along with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Obviously, I have the white colorway and it looks really stunning. The glossy finish at the back makes the white Redmi K30 Pro a head turner. I think the best way to rock this colorway is to get a clear, slim phone case, so you'll be able to flaunt it. Moving on, the Redmi K30 Pro does not have a global version yet, but you can easily install the Google Play Store using the Mi App Store. After installing the Google Play Store, you're all set to install your favorite Android apps. Next, let's talk about the Redmi K30 Pro's processor. At roughly around 413 US dollars or 21,000 pesos, the Redmi K30 Pro is probably the most affordable phone equipped with a Snapdragon 865 processor. If that's not flagship killer level of price to specs ratio, I don't know what is. I even tested it on Antutu Benchmark and it even beat my Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro by a small margin. Now what this ultimately means is that the Redmi K30 Pro will give real flagship devices a run for their money. I was also able to briefly try out the Redmi K30 Pro's camera and I was actually impressed. Redmi was able to fully take advantage of Sony's IMX686 camera sensor and it shows in the photos I've taken. Now here are a few samples.
All right, so if you want to see more samples, make sure to subscribe and watch out for my full review. I'll reserve my judgment on the Redmi K30 Pro's battery durability, but I really have high hopes for its 4,700 mAh battery. Another impressive feature of the Redmi K30 Pro, it can charge up to 33 watts fast charging. This is 3 watts better than the non-pro version of the Mi 10. However, the Redmi K30 Pro does not have wireless charging, but this shouldn't be a big deal considering its price. Now, as for gaming, well, the Redmi K30 Pro does have the Snapdragon 865 as its processor, so it's safe to say that the Redmi K30 Pro will not have any issues when it comes to gaming. I did experience a little bit of heating at the back panel while playing PUBG for a few hours, but I didn't experience any performance throttling. Lastly, I'd like to briefly discuss the display. The Redmi K30 Pro comes equipped with a 6.67 inch Super AMOLED screen and it absolutely looks good. However, some of you might be disappointed that it only has a 60 hertz screen refresh rate. But I really couldn't care less at this point because I haven't tried a mobile game yet that takes advantage of more than 60 frames per second. So if the 60 hertz screen refresh rate is what's holding you back from considering the Redmi K30 Pro, please don't let it be a factor. It really has a great looking display and the fact that you can get a full screen with no notches, droplets, or hole punches is amazing. I'm not much of a selfie camera guy, so the whole mechanical slash moving part selfie camera issue isn't a factor for me. Anyway, that's my quick initial impressions on the Redmi K30 Pro. If you want to find out more about the Redmi K30 Pro, make sure to subscribe to my channel for my full review. Anyway, before we end this video, a quick shout out to Mr. Kenneth Allen, one of my viewers. I hope you're doing all right. And also a quick shout out to my friends, Sir Sule Tech Reviews and Gadget Psychic slash Xiaomi Review. If you want more tech content, there's a lot that they provide. Go ahead and check out their channels. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.